Okay, it's a bright, sunny Saturday, and I'm here with some friends. I got Sean, Rick, Tim, Russell. And we're all here. What are we doing, Sean? Well, we're finally moving an RV8 fuselage kit out of my garage. It's been sitting here for 18 months, <laughs> and we're going to eventually inventory it today, right, Bob? Yeah, let me turn this around. Oh, yeah. This is where Sean has been storing his fuselage. The entire fuselage is sitting in this box and has not been opened. So we're going to move it out. Let me show you the trail we're going. Excuse me there, Ted. We're going to go down through here, through that gate, and over there is his uh, airplane factory. And I'll show you that here in a minute. So hang on, we'll be right back. So, oh, okay, so we got this done. We got it. It's not as light as it looks. We made it look easy. But, Sean, tell me about what you've got here. Let me turn this around. All right, so uh, about six years ago, Bob called me and said, Hey, I found you an empanage kit built in Oregon, 300 bucks. So, we picked up the horizontal, vertical uh, elevators and rudder. They were all built. And they're extraordinary built. Yeah, it was too. a good job. And uh, I went. I was up there on a business trip. I brought them home, so I didn't have to pay any shipping. And then about a year later, Bob calls me and says, "Hey, I found you some wings in Southern California. This was a quick build set uh, from a second-hand buyer or a second-hand owner. Uh, the first builder had uh, unfortunately mounted the flaps to the top skin and basically ruined both top skins." Drilling holes where there weren't holes to be drilled. So we uh, ultimately reskinned the top skins, unriveted, derooted the entire wing except for the leading edge. We had one leading edge we had to replace because of some hanger rash. But uh, it was pretty amazing, like 400 bucks for all of these skins. So, so you're into this uh, around figure of about 3,100 bucks yeah. total. Yeah, these, I didn't, I didn't say these were $2,000 to get these quick build wings. Yeah, cheap. Yeah. And they were quick build and Everything that the previous owner touched, he couldn't do it right. Yeah. And that's why you got him, because the guy that bought him didn't trust him. Right. He didn't, didn't want to do the work. He didn't want to deal, deal with the work, yep. Yeah. Yep. So, and then I kept waiting for Bob to find me the sweetheart deal on the fuselage, and that never came. <laughs> <laughs> so. So you got a pretty extraordinary little shop here. So this was a greenhouse that we acquired when we bought this property, and uh, we were going to tear it down, and then... I found out about this cover that the greenhouse suppliers provide for mushroom growers. And uh, so we uh, basically repurposed the greenhouse. I had to buy uh, extensions. I don't know if you can see these. And we lifted the roof two feet by putting two foot posts on all the, on all the ribs, framed in the ends. When I was here before, before you did all this, yeah. And this is, it was a mud house. It was then. a mud house, yeah. Yeah, we, we uh, went out and uh, found people who were replacing their wet redwood decks with treks, and we just repurposed the, the redwood and laid this floor, and it's uh, actually quite nice. I've got a surplus furnace that I pulled out of a duplex we have, and we're going to put that in the corner and run uh, heat down this thing. Oh, so, that'll be nice. Yeah, don't need to worry about cooling it. It stays pretty cool, actually, in the summer with this roof. Okay. Um, well, but, this is uh, nice. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be okay. So, 48 by 18 build space. Yeah. We need to get some shelves in here, some building tables, but. Uh, okay. Well, we'll get after. So, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna open the box for the first time. Yeah. And we're gonna go. We're gonna inventory it and put it away. And when we get going on that, I'll put it on time lapse, and we'll get back with you in a minute.
Okay, it took us eh, about three and a half hours and we got it all checked in. Hold on. Everything's sitting on a shelf all pretty or we put the, the big skin sections back in the box it's sitting here. He's going to uh, store all of his wing components and tail components somewhere else. And uh, but basically we're done. Well, so Sean, how do you feel? Good. It's good to get everything out of the box. So now you just have to work on the uh, the laser cut parts. Mm -hmm. Work with Vans to get that all taken care of. And so uh, first flight Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hopefully uh, you enjoy the video. See you soon.